During my quill hands, I saw the different phases of development of an egg inside of the womb. Very interesting, I have to say, and I will share it with you in a bit. Then I thought it was interesting to do an experiment to see if the eggs were still fertile after eight days without a rooster. And to do that, I put the quill egg into half a chicken egg to see the development and I didn't think anything about it. I thought it was not going to happen. But then the miracle happened. Here you see the development of an egg inside the quill. Starting on the close-up with the ovary, we see quite some little yolks and then the yolks start to grow into bigger ones. These yolks are already fertile yolks. So the user did his thing already. And I've proven this with my next experiment to check if these eggs were fertile. Here you see a greenish egg without any color. And then in the last stage, just nearly at the end, the dots and color appear. help we're gonna try to use donor eggs never tried before and never saw it on youtube but what are we gonna do we're gonna uh, we're gonna make a little holder i said but i'm gonna use the scissors and i hope that the egg will stand in this it's a little carton and it works. So, it stands in this. I actually managed to make four of them. They're just from a toilet paper roll. And I bought the eggs in the shop to make donor eggs. Because I think that I can put the quill egg in it. And it really... So, attempt two. This time, not a saw, but a sharp knife. And when you put any pressure on them, they already break. And I was hoping that it shouldn't happen. Actually, I did have. I have something now. With an air chamber in it. We're actually managing this time. And Liam is uh, really doing a good job. So, filling up the other shell. Yes, very nice. So, this is our eggshell donation part one, and I really figured out how to make it. You look like a butchering scene, doesn't it? I'm putting them in the incubator now, and then I show you every day what's happening and let's hope that there is a baby growing in a little check so the eggs are in fingers crossed let's see what's going to happen If this is what I think it is, then it is alive. Cute. So what are we 
seeing. Here we see nothing. And here actually we don't see anything again. But when we go this way, here we see something developing and I have no clue what it is. And on the last one there's the same kind of thing. So is this life? Concentrating on this two eggs. This one and that one because you still see the circle. You know, but you see it, see it the best. It is growing. It is about half the yolk now. Now let's see in the evening. Big news. Blood vessels developing in one egg and in the second egg there's absolutely life no uh, questions about it. about it the other two are empty I think it is still developing what seems to keep amazing me It is developing. Wow, how beautiful is this, huh? These two are finished. They didn't develop anything. So, this developed one day, I think, and this one not at all. So, it's very clear what is happening in the two eggs. You can see it. Close up. I think I focus on the other one. So strange. You can see the head, and uh, then there's all these veins coming from the head, moving in all directions. It is a beautiful sight, isn't it? Here the same. I'm a bit worried about the little dots that I see on the plastic on the inside. And it looks like it is leaving the yolk more or less. That is also not a good sign. But anyway, we came about five days. development goes on. Today you can see uh, the black dot in the middle, especially in the left egg, and um, it looks like an eye. I think it's the eye nerves that uh, are developing first now. From this moment on I used the standard to make the film uh, and I put down the background noise. On the left you can see two things. One is a little heart beating just below the head. Uh, the head is, the is bending a little bit to the left. And you can see a white dot appearing and disappearing and that is uh, a limp that is moving and uh, reflecting the light from above. On the one side I love this experiment in this picture, on the other side I think, whoa, it's alive. A clear head on the left egg, the other right egg is moving, but it is laying in a different way so I cannot see it really clearly. But the left has a head and you can see the eye popping in the middle. Uh, it's, it's quite quiet, it's not moving a lot. But it's alive. Oh, here it moves. 
you can see it in the fluid that's surrounding the embryo. So with the interval of about 12 hours, you see amazing development changes. The right egg is actually turned, the eye is obvious and it moves his head, especially on the beginning of this little piece of film. Um, yeah, nice. I'm a little bit worried about uh, the bulb on just behind the head of the right egg. The left egg turned in this way so I cannot see it anymore, but it's still moving. beginning of day 7 and obvious what has happened, uh, the left egg died, um, I did an autopsy, um, clearly died of a bleeding on the edge of the, of the yolk where the embryo is connecting to the shell, uh, you can also see the dark mass, and mass on the right side of the egg. The right egg is uh, living, moving on as you see on this moment and the experiment goes on Though still, you, you have to admit, I feel a little bit guilty. I didn't expect it to go this far, did I? Unbelievable. So removing the one egg, one down, one still going strong. Again, the growth is so fast in these embryos, I cannot believe it. It lays the uh, tummy down, so you cannot see anything but movement. And uh, I think the head is on the top side of the egg. If you know better, just leave a comment please, because this is all new for me. We're still alive and kicking, especially kicking it appears. Um, the plastic came, became a little bit foggy and on the last time that I opened the other egg for autopsy I saw it was uh, just water uh, that's going to say it on top. So nothing to worry about. Um, growing, moving, looking healthy and going on. It's the evening of day 8 and I'm not so happy about what I'm seeing. It's moving, but the embryo looks pale and it looks like there is uh, a bleeding going on. There's not a lot I can do, but worry, hope it will be okay. I'm feeling a kind of remorse. So the beginning of day 9 starts with sad news, the embryo is dead, I was right yesterday evening, it, uh, the veins are gone, it looks pale, it doesn't move and uh, it looks nasty because it is I think dead for a couple of hours already. So the experiment ends here. So 9 days of chick development without any shell. I think it's an accomplishment, but am I going to do it again? I don't know. I don't think so. Creating life in my kitchen is quite something and not something I will do on purpose again. <laughs>